Hi, I'm here to show you the experiment types of compounds. I have three white solid crystalline compounds, salt, magnesium sulfate, which is known as Epsom salt. It is sometimes used for home remedies. And this is sucrose, otherwise known as sugar. I also have some water and some rubbing alcohol, also known as isopropyl alcohol. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sodium chloride and put a couple side, uh, put a couple scoops, the size of about an M&M, onto where it says salt. And then I'm gonna add some water to dissolve the salt. So there's the salt. And now I'm going to add some water. And then I'm gonna give it a stir with the conductivity tester to dissolve the salt and see if it conducts electricity. So I'm gonna move the bottles so I don't knock it over. Just give it a stir. And you can see both the red and green lights light up for salt dissolved in water. I'm gonna give the metal tips of the tester a rinse in water so it doesn't contaminate the next sample. And I'm gonna do the same for my scoop or spatula so I can now test the next solid which looks the same, which is sucrose or sugar. So I put a scoop there, that's about enough. And I'm now going to grab my rinsed tester after I add some water to it. So now I'm gonna add water to dissolve the sugar, give it a stir with my tester. And as you can see, neither the red or green bulbs light up. I'm gonna give it a rinse, the tips of the tester only, so it doesn't contaminate the next sample, as well as the spatula. And now I am ready to test the Epsom salt or MgSO4. So I'm gonna take a scoop or two, but I'm putting some M&M size amounts. And then I'm gonna add some water, so I can dissolve the MgSO4 or Epsom salt. And then I'll give it a stir with the tips of my tester to see if the light bulbs on the tester light up. And I hope you can see red and green light bulbs light up. I'm gonna give the tester a rinse so I don't contaminate the next sample. And I'm just gonna add only water to the next spot. So here comes some water. While I'm at it, I'm also gonna add my rubbing alcohol in the next spot so I can test them both. So there's some rubbing alcohol. Hopefully they don't blend into each other, nope. Okay, and now I'm gonna get my tester that is rinsed and I'm going to dip it into water. You can see neither the red or green bulbs light up. And I'm gonna, I could give the tester a rinse but the rubbing alcohol also contains water, so I don't need to rinse it. And here we go. And I can see the red and green bulbs do not light up. So make sure you've completed your data table, rewind if necessary, and complete the table. Thank you for watching.